Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Maryland Darling Show, and welcome to another episode of 30 Inks, 30 Days. How is everyone doing today? Are you having a nice day? I hope you're having a nice day wherever you are in the world. Before we start the review, I want to mention that I will be holding a Zoom uh, calligraphy hangout on my patreon.com slash Maryland Darling Show for the patrons. If you are interested, I will be putting up the link at about 4.55-ish, and we can hang out and talk about calligraphy and stuff. So, hopefully I will see you all then. Alright, let's share this with our friends so that they can come and hang out with us too. At this time, I would encourage you to share this with your friends so that they can also come and hang out with us too. <clears throat> All right, we're going to share this to the blogger. End of the Reddit and the 30 Inks 30 Days Pinterest. <coughs> Paste in the code for the Tumblr, Twitter, LinkedIn, and the Facebook. All right. Hi, Frida. How are you doing today? Are you having a nice day? And ginger kind of festive. Oh, yes. Yeah, this is very nice. Hi, Beanie. How are you doing? <coughs> Long time no see. Where you been? Where you been? All right. This is our ink for today. I'm so glad you're doing good. This is our ink of the day. It's a brownish, orangey typeish ink. Well, it's more brown than orange, but very nice. <clears throat> Here's our ink swatch. And let's do the water resistance test to see if it has any water resistance. Oy, no water resistance, absolutely none. So, this would be great for putting in fountain pens, because you know for sure that it's going to clean out real good. You won't have to worry about it clogging your pen or anything. So, that's the water resistance test. Here's our toilet paper chromatography. All I see is brown. I don't really see any funny colors coming out. So that's cool. It's like mono mono colored. Um it does have a little bit of shading going on. Here's our ink painting of the day. So I put a link a, a line of ink down with a cotton swab <coughs> and then I sprayed some water over it and then I blew today's pen is the uh Lamy Studio held the nib up to my lips and blew through the tines to make the spattering effect. Of course you have to be very careful when you do that because otherwise your whole desk will be orange. Ask me how I know. And I forgot to do the uh, the thing yesterday. So there's what that looks like. Very nice. All right, and today is ginger chicken. Let's 
Today's pen is a Lamy Studio with a medium nib. Alright, there we go. This doesn't have any sheen or shimmer, but it's kind of shady, so that's nice. Alright. Let's do some paper review, shall we? Uh, it's been a day. Oh, Aaron just posted a video. How exciting. All right. Let's do some paper review. Hi, Gristle. How are you doing today? It looks like a napkin at a Chinese restaurant where they ate ginger chicken. <laughs> yes, exactly. This is definitely a fall color. I may have to break this one out again for fall. It's a beautiful brownish ink. Beautiful shading. Oh dear. Scan likely. Sorry about that. <clears throat> okay, let's take a look at some paper review, shall we? This is the Pen and Gear Memo book from Walmart.com. Nice shading, no feathering. Tiny bit of bleed through, a little bit of ghosting. All right, this is lightweight traveler's notebook paper. <coughs> nice shading, no feathering, no bleeding. Oh, a little tiny bit of bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. Would you see it has a tea color? No, this is more of a chocolate color. This is super lightweight traveler's notebook paper. Nice shading, no feathering, normal amount of ghosting. We will look at some comparisons at the end. <coughs> this is Moleskin 70 GSM. It is speckling and feathering into the page and it did bleed through the page. This kind of reminds me of a chocolate bar. Field Notes Journal. 70 GSM. A little bit of shading. It is spreading into the page and it did bleed and ghost through the page. This is Fabriano Eco Qua 85 GSM. Beautiful shading. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. This is 52 GSM Tumaway River. Beautiful shading, no feathering, no bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. This is a Yush 100 GSM paper. Beautiful shading, no feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. This is Leuchtturm 1917 dot, uh, 1917. I keep wanting to say 1917 dot grid, but I didn't get dot grid. I really should have. Beautiful shading, no feathering, 
No bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. This is Midori MD paper. I should have cut all my fingernails off, but I got cross yesterday. <clears throat> all right, this is Midori MD paper. Beautiful shading, no feathering, no bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. Cosmo Air Light, 75 GSM. Beautiful shading, no feathering, no bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. All right, this is the Jot Journal from the Dollar Tree. Beautiful shading, no feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. This is Maramon Namasani 80 GSM dot grid. Beautiful shading, no feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. This is Oxford Optic Paper. Beautiful shading, no feathering, a little bit of bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. This is Claire Fontaine 90 GSM. Beautiful shading, no feathering, a little bit of bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. Lamy Booklet, 90 GSM. We're almost done with this book. A little bit of shading. A little bit of spread. No bleeding. A little bit of ghosting, though. Exceed, 100 GSM. Heavyweight paper from Walmart.com. A little bit of shading, a little bit of spread, little tiny micro bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. This is Up and Up Wide Rule Composition Book from Target.com. That's really nice. Beautiful shading, no feathering. No bleed, <clears throat> no bleeding, a little, maybe a little bit of bleeding, micro bleeding, and a little bit of ghosting. A little lot of bit of ghosting. All right, this is True Red Composition Book from staples.com. Again, beautiful shading, no feathering, a little bit of bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. Epica 81.4 GSM. Beautiful shading. No feathering. No bleeding. No ghost. No bleeding. No ghosting. No bleeding. Barely. Hair, hairline of ghosting. Okay, this is. This is the Nanami 7 c 68 GSM Tumaway River. Beautiful shading, no feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Rhodia dot pad, 80 GSM. Beautiful shading, tiny micro feathering. A little bit of bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. Rhodia dot pad, eight, wait. What the heck is that? I'm sorry, this is Artist Loft 100 GSM paper with a little bit of micro bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. <clears throat> Got out of order, sorry. Rhodia Dot Pad 80 GSM. A little bit of shading, a little bit of spread. Little micro bleeding, but other than that, there's no bleeding, no ghosting. U style notebook paper. A little bit of shading, couple of feathers, 
A little bit of bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. All right, this is Buffet Handmade Paper from Italy. A little bit of shading, tiny little bit of feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. All right, this is Sheffield Home Paper Goods. Beautiful shading, a little bit of feathering, a little bit of bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. CVS Caliber Notebook Paper. Beautiful shading, no feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Oxford Notebook Paper. Beautiful shading, no feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Made Wide Rolled Notebook Paper. No feathering, a little bit of bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. Five star notebook paper. Nice shading, a little bit of feathering, a little bit of bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. Speckled notebook paper. Nice shading, no feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. HP Premium 32 pound copy paper. Nice shading, no feathering, a little bit of bleeding, a little bit of micro ghosting. All right, this is the JNB Copper Plate Graph Pad from JohnNeilBooks.com. Nice gentle shading going on. No feathering, a little bit of ghosting. All right, this is Acabay cross-section pad. A little bit of shading, no feathering. No, a little bit of bleeding, barely any ghosting. This is original Crown Mill 100 GSM paper. Nice shading, no feathering, no, a little bit of bleeding. Tiniest bit of micro bleeding, a little bit of ghosting. Wow. That ink is pretty cooperative, I have to say. Probably one of the most cooperative I've seen in a while. Little bleeding there. Not quite as good as the uh, platinum blue black, but pretty good. Okay, so I think this is going to be more of a brown ink. Let's see if I can come up with some browns. Alright, here we have Dominant Industry Ginger Chicken next to Diatramentis Document Urban Sienna, Rum Burning, Burley Wood, Taco Sunburst, Tobacco Sunburst, sorry, <laughs> Golden Brown, Graf von Faber Castell, Cognac Brown, Autumn Oak, Sienna, Burgundy, uh, Brandy Snap, Honey, Raw Sienna, Brown, Golden Brown, Nude, Brown, Encre Brune, Hmm, Terracotta, Kiowa Pecan, Pumpkin Cake, Chocolate Pudding, Beaver, this one's kind of similar, I wish I had more Beaver. So, I don't know anybody who has ever said that before. <clears throat> Diatramentus William Shakespeare, Umi Marisaki, Ancre Havane, oh, Vampire Red, these could be twins. Hippo Purple, Red Black, Lydie the, Getinia Barna, 
polar brown uh, ochre, Terra Tierra Colorada, Ackerman Espiari Brown. This would be a good dupe for Espiari Brown. Um, chocolate Brown, Carcos Brown, Winter Spice, 150, Becky, Walnut, Nightshade, Crystal Topaz, Scotch Brown, Yule Log, Queen of Hearts, Brown Sugar, Infinite Cube, Pick Me Up, Nick, Nanita, Dusted Truffle, Saddle Brown, Grand Canyon, Mason's Song, Beaver Dam Brown, Sepia, Whaleman's Sepia, Sepia Black, Coco de Brazil, and Muskrat. Now, just for giggles, I want to see if I have any oranges in here that look this color. Okay, here we go. Tasha Shiraku Koyami, a little more orange. Moonlight of Higashiyama, Pending Sands, Marigold, Monarch, Kiong He, Corner Line to Egypt, Inti, Deep Dark Orange, Antietam. Wow, this is a good knockoff for Antietam, too. Golden Honey, Mango. No, 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 no. Colorverse Martian. Colorverse Tango. Hokusai Bennett, Bennett Sushi. No. Vintage Copper. No, 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 and no. All right. That's very beautiful shading. Yes, it is. I like it a lot. I didn't know that Faber-Castell also made ink, but I was basically raised in the small town where the company has its headquarters. Oh, wow. You know, it's it's quite funny. The, the things that we never realize are right in our backyard. So across the street from my house is one of the first headquarters that Walt Disney set up way back in the 20s for a headquarters in uh, this part of Orange County. And then they turned it into a airplane hangar for the war. And our street, uh, the street behind us, used to be the runway. Crazy, right? And then at the other end of the street used to be the only hospital in the whole county. about a hundred years ago. Oh my god, a hundred and five years ago, probably. That's pretty crazy. Well, what did you guys think of today's ink? Are you thinking thoughts about getting a brown? This one's relatively... I can tell right now that it's going to be real easy to clean out of a pen because it has no water resistance at all. But I would not put this on the outside of an envelope. Let me know what you guys think of this ink in the comment section below. <clears throat> and just uh, another announcement that I will be having a Zoom 
call at 5 p.m. Pacific on my patreon.com slash Marilyn Darling Show. For my patrons, if you are interested in becoming a patron, you can join us over there. And this will be for all of the tiers. So maybe consider becoming a patron today. And what you will receive is me continuing to do the things that I love. I'm going to be teaching a calligraphy class over there, showing kind of different uh, tools that can be used, some pencils, some brush pens, some markers, all kinds of different things. So, check it out. That's all I have for today. I want to thank you all for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. I hope that you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Like, comment, subscribe. Ring the little bell. Make sure it's set to all. So when I upload new content, YouTube notifies you. And I will be back very soon with another video. So take care until then. Oh, you're most welcome. Have a great day. Okay, love you. Bye.